I told you guys before, it's not about the facts or right or wrong. It's about what team you're playing on. Simple as that. Guys, um, I I talked, well, I sent a, um, a post on YouTube, right? Comment about this whole Hades 2 situation when it comes to the hypocrisy behind how certain journalists are accepting of the sexiness of Hades 2 versus you know who. So what just wasn't sitting well with me, I was just gonna let the situation go, but I kept on seeing these messages in this back and forth because I was a part of this Twitter Discord thingy to where like I was in the comments, I was, I got lost and I shouldn't have done that shit. But the thing is, it showed me a lot of stuff because I've been saying this statement for a long time to where it's like, I've been saying that, yo, listen, stop arguing with these people. These people do not care about being right. They don't care about being wrong. They don't care about anything. They just care about playing on their team. So they have to say what they have to say to protect their side. And guess what? What I'm gonna show you today is gonna be super, it's probably gonna piss y'all off, but it's gonna make y'all understand where I'm coming from and why I'm telling you guys Drop your arms. You're fighting a brick wall. They don't care about what you say. They don't care about whether you're making the most sense. All they care about is that you're the opposition and I have to take you out. While you got objective people in the middle, like me, who li listens to both sides of the spectrum, I try to see who is making the most sense. There's not a lot of those people left that exist anymore. There are people who just play a part of their teams. So, when it comes to this, when it comes to people like me, and I know there's people out there who watch me because you will only watch me if you kind of align with my views or you kind of heavily disagree with my views. Either or, I accept it all. But the thing is, people like us who just are in the middle, who just trying to see what makes sense, I'm telling you right now, if you're one of those people who try to explain shit to these people who I'm about to show you today, you are wasting your fucking time. And I'm going to show you exactly why. This person just is a godsend to me. You know how like when you when you think about something and you like, God damn, I wish I can just show people what the fuck I mean. Because I've been saying this for a long time. I know exactly what I'm saying right now. But because it's coming from my mouth and it's anecdotal, it's not something that people will latch on to and be like, oh, I get what you're saying. Or, no, that's just your experience. You ever had that before? I'm going to show you exactly what I mean today. Check this out. Let's hop into this. This is a Kotaku article. You guys can already tell just by looking at this fucking, um, this fucking headline, right? Oh, damn. Look at me warping and shit. Yeah, but you can already tell by this fucking headline the hypocrisy behind this shit. Just, just starting off, right? Because we all know that Stella Blade was receiving a lot of flack from sexiness in hotness in video games, right? We know how every journalist was attacking that shit, including Kotaku. Okay, so here we go. In case you guys don't know who this person is up here, let me take you back to the article I was just on. Pay attention to her name. Look at the name of the person who wrote this fucking article. It's the same damn person. So the same person that says Hades 2 is the kind of hot we need right now. And let me show you another headline that she says. This is by another writer, but it's still from Kotaku, right? But this is the type of shit that Kotaku is writing. Everyone's hot as hell in Hades 2 as they should be. Now just imagine if they said anything like that, could you imagine them saying this about Stella Blade at all? Could you imagine them saying that everybody is hot in Stella Blade and they should be? No, their main thing is talking shit about it because it supports the male gaze. Like I said before, it's not about being right or factual. They could give a fuck about that. It's about what team you're on. And this is going to prove what team they're on. Watch this. Reed was right underneath it. Watch this. Supergiant Games continues to hold the gay community in a chokehold with his sexy Greek gods. That's the reason why being hot is okay in this situation. It's because it appeases to the gay community. That's it. It has nothing to do with being hot. It has nothing to do with characters looking good. It's the fact that the community that this game is actually attached to and that it appeases to is the is the community that's on their side. That's it. Stop trying to make sense with these people. They don't give a fuck about it at all. Let me go back to what she said about Stella Blade because this is the same person that's saying this shit, right? She's a part of this team that apparently is praising Hades 2 for a sexiness. Watch what she says about Stella Blade's sexiness. This is the same bitch. She said they want their woman to be virtually silent, overly sexualized dolls in video games that they can jerk off to without having to wash their ass or clip their nails or even a single attractive quality. Do you know the blatant hypocrisy that's behind this statement? You just went from saying this to 
praising Hades 2 for its sexy characters in the gay community, for the gay community. Because technically speaking, because apparently from your from the writer before, it appeases to gay sexiness. So you're praising that, but when it comes to your enemy, which is men in general, bro, let's just keep it a buck. The enemy to the gaming community and entertainment as a whole is straight white males. It has nothing to do with me as a black male. They don't give a fuck about that. They give me a pass, but their target on why they feel so proudly saying this shit. Can I guarantee you if more straight black dudes were prominent figures in this industry and was just talking like how these straight white males are, they wouldn't be saying shit because guess what? We can get away with it because we're black. Y'all, th their enemy, their number one enemy is not just straight males. And I know what y'all gonna say about this. Well, it's uh, everybody. No, fuck all that. I'm straight up with it. You guys know what, what the fucking truth is. The fucking truth is the enemy, the number one, numero uno enemy is, is straight white males. They're attacking y'all. They don't give a fuck what y'all say, whether y'all make sense or not. They don't care. They only care about demonizing you. And if you like it, it's bad. That's why they are not, that's why they don't care about being blatantly hypocritical like this statement compared to this, to the Hades 2 statement. It doesn't even make any fucking sense to even to a person who's two years old. You can see that. Hold up a second. You said this about this game, but sexiness in this game is okay. What the fuck are you talking about? And I'm going to keep on bringing up Last of Us 2. You telling me Abby Zilla can get bent over and fucked in The Last of Us 2. <laughs> And that's okay and nobody brings that up but if eve was to have a sex scene in let's say stella blade right oh my god this is so wrong this is like a this is like for male gays and shit like that no nope. it's not allowed because it appeases to and i'm just gonna single this audience out because this is your this is their enemy if straight white males like it it's bad automatically but because abby zilla has muscles and is not the most attractive female and is overtly meant to shy away from the male gaze. Oh, it's a beautiful scene. It's okay for Abby to do it. It's okay for Abby to get butt fucked, but it's not okay for Eve to just look sexy. Does it make this make sense? It's just, it's just overtly hypocritical. And that's why I'm saying, guys, the point of this whole video is just to tell you guys, do not argue with these people. These people are a dying breed. You can call them out, but arguing with these people is just like arguing with somebody who who has an emotional stake in being right. You guys ever talked to a person like that before or had a friend to where like once you start talking to them and you're trying to be objective because you don't have a stake in it or anything like that. Right. You're just trying to, you know, debate with this person or talk to this person. Be like, yo, like, don't you believe that such and such? And then the, the person starts to get offensive and start to get offended and be like, well, no, that's not what this is. And, shit. and then it clicks in your mind. It's like. Hold up a second. Are you on purpose trying to misinterpret me? Are you trying? Are you purposely trying not to understand me? You ever had that situation before? And then once you realize that, you like, okay, I, I just need to stop talking to this person because it's not working. It's they're they're too too emotionally invested in this conversation to think objectively. That's when you have to distance yourself, guys. We are wasting our energy and our anger talking to people like this. I'm not done yet, because this bitch got on my nerves even more. She said some shit that just made me really fucking weirded out, because this is the type of weird, weirdo shit. Let me show you what this person is, because the best way to understand these people is to go on their ex profiles. This is her profile. Senior editor at Kotaku, former games star. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. She got she, her, of course, in her fucking bio, because every single one of these people are the same bots. They are the same fucking robots from the same tree why are they all the same it's like a fucking uniform it's like if i fight for this team i have to look like let's click on her picture she is wearing oh my god you could just tell she's a do i even have to say what she looked like do i have to say it you guys know she's a hippie she's a modern day hippie she got the fucking glasses she got the hipster hat she got the hipster haircut whatever the fuck right the short haircut that showed that she's rebellious she got the fake looking tattoos that look like she goes to Tilly's and look like she fucking shops at Hot Topic. She is the, that's her. Was she her in her fucking bio? They wear the same, why are y'all all the same? Why? Jesus Christ. I'm not done yet because this back and forth that just happened between her and this one person. Let me show you what happened with this, right? I guess she was going back and forth with this dude named Hypnotic. 
So this was the thread that I was under and I was reading this shit. I guess this guy was making videos about her. Why wouldn't you? Because she's a fucking journalist. So why wouldn't we make videos about you talking about your stupidity or talking about the stupid shit you say, but you have a problem with people bringing that shit to light and all of a sudden they're obsessed with you. I hate when people use that term when it's like, when people starts to check you on your shit automatically, oh, they're obsessed with me. They just can't leave me. Oh, you must be obsessed. That shit is a, such a fucking weak ass cop out. Attack my points that I'm attacking you on. Here's the point with that. It goes back to what I said before. They don't care about what you have to say. They don't care about being right. They don't care about being objective. They don't care about anything. They just care about talking in their echo chamber. And I guarantee you she blocked this dude. Because she gets... The thing with these cowardly ass people is that they will talk... Is that they will throw bombs at you. Throw bombs like crazy. Bam, bam, bam. Just destroying everything around you, right? And then what they would do is they'll dig under, underneath the earth and go hide and just cover it up because they don't want to be retaliated on. They don't want to. They don't want you coming back to them. They'll go back to their people in their little cubby hole. And then as soon as you throw a bomb back and try to retaliate, they're like, why are you attacking me? And try to play victim and shit. I can't stand these motherfuckers. These people are the same people that Sweet Baby has in all these other virtue signaling companies. They're all like her. It's fucking annoying. Stop arguing with these people. She only has 9,000 people, which means she's not saying shit because she's been on here since 2013 and has over 37,000 tweets. She's not saying shit. Nobody's following her. She's yelling in the echo chamber right now. And she's the editor, senior editor for Kotaku. You are fucking nobody. You get on my goddamn... God, these people get on my fucking nerves. Okay, so let me let me let y'all read this right quick, all right? Because I'm going everywhere in this video. You guys know this video is just fucking sporadic. I'm very pissed off with this shit because I hate people who are very hypocritical and who are fake as fuck. This, you just proved that you're the biggest bitch and you're the biggest fake person that I've ever seen in my entire life because you say one thing about one thing and then something else. It's annoying because like you literally are are being completely hypocritical and you're just open about it and you don't even give a fuck. Okay, let's read this. There is one YouTuber who never shows his face who makes a video about me almost daily. I already know that shit not true because I checked his channel. It's not daily. He only made three fucking videos. So shut the fuck up. You lying already. And I'm just wondering when I should start charging rent. See, they use this shit to where it's like, God, you must be obsessed with me. It's the same vein. It's the same vein of argument. You must be obsessed with me. I live rent free in your head. Oh my God, he always talking about me. What am I talking to you about? Can you address that? What about the points I made about you? Are you going to disprove those? Or are you just going to label me as a stalker? Because you can't refute my points. That's, that's what these fucking cowards do. Stop talking to these people. And then she said the best part about these illiterate tampons what a, Jesus Christ, that's such a fucking hippie. They all talk about how I'm obsessed with them in multiple videos a week. They're posting with my name as the headline. Like, guys, I'm about to do the same fucking thing. Your name is going to be plastered on my fucking on my fucking video. I kid you not. You will be on my video and I'm going to put your picture on my fucking video with my face on it. That's how much I don't give a fuck and how much I can't stand you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I have alerts set so I can report shit that's potentially sharing p personal information. I promise you I'm not watching your two hour long tirade where you struggle to pronounce the words I have written. Bitch, that's because you can't refute his points. That's why. You, you're just like everybody else. You're not special. You're a fucking loser amongst a bucket of people who are just like you blocking people as soon as they say some shit that you don't like and that you don't agree with notice how people on the side that tries to make sense we don't block nobody i mean there's a few but mainly we don't block nobody our floodgates is open you can come in you could come in throwing stones or whatever the fuck but you gotta accept what i take back what i throw back at you and that's the point you can't accept what we throw back at you and that's what make you a fucking coward so guys I've been thinking about this for a long time. I just had to get this off my chest. It came out more like a rant video more than an explanation video. But this blatant hypocrisy between Hades and this whole, these characters can be sexy and you could call them sexy, but Stellar Blade is a fucking issue. And you literally got Aphrodite, a sex goddess who's butt ass naked on this front page. And that's not a problem. But Stellar Blade fully clothed in a skin suit, body suit, whatever you want to have it. She's still fully clothed is an issue. How is that possible? I'll tell you why. And I say it once again, and I'm going to end this off. It's because their enemy is the straight white male. You're fucking a white male. 
If straight white males like it, fuck you. It sucks. It's sexist. It's bad. It's the devil. It shouldn't exist. But if it's appealing to gay people, to black people, to minorities and whatever the fuck class, marginalized class they got over here, all of a sudden, this is the type of hotness we need. Go fuck yourself. And I hope you watch this video. And guess what? Just like how you try to accuse him and not showing his face, I show my fucking face. I'm very available. You fake people need to be called the fuck out and I'm gonna do it every fucking time I see it. Cause you guys are not playing fair by the rules. You don't care about discourse. You don't even care about being objective. You only care about fighting for your side and I just proved it throughout this entire video. You don't give a fuck about facts. You don't give a fuck about reasoning. So guess what? Neither am I. Peace. You're fucking a white male!